It's now my you, pleasure to announce the finalists. Is this what we should go directly to, Olivier? Okay. Uh, we have reached the seventh edition of the ITA Tournament Awards, a series of events which started in 2015 and which has been repeating successfully every year. And uh, I have always repeated that the Turning Awards are an event not only to celebrate, but also to showcase success. It's an event in which the best of the best, La Crème de la Crème, is selected throughout the world. And uh, I have also said and repeated many times, and I, I, it's not too much to say it again, that uh, this event uh, is not only to celebrate the best, but also to show the world and the owners and the stakeholders that when we apply good practice with respect to contract, the right contractual practices, when we uh, do the correct investigation and do the correct engineering, that we can reach success in our underground construction. And uh, so this event, the Turning Awards, have not only the, uh, are not only to, to celebrate, but also to tell stakeholders that tunnels are predictable and reliable solutions for infrastructure. Having said that, I should thank the judges. We have a panel of 16 judges from 12 countries, 16 respected professionals who have dedicated their time going in detail through each of the entries to grade them, to go through the very difficult task of selecting which of those will be the best, the ones to to receive the most prestigious trophy in the tunneling industry. And uh, uh, so I'm very thankful to this panel of, to, to these judges, which I had the honor to chair this panel. So let's go to, to the entries. We had uh, we have eight categories, which are major project of the year above uh, 500 million euros, major project of the year between 50 and 500 million, major project of the year below uh, 50 million euros, overcoming the challenge or beyond engineering and also oddities in underground, of the underground. Uh, unfortunately, we have no finalists in, in this category of oddities. Technical innovation, innovative contributions of underground space, and uh, the young tunneler of the year. So I will now announce the finalists of each category. So please, Olivier, the next slide. In the category of major project of the year above 500 million euros, the finalists are the Ismailia Tunnel under the Suez Canal from Egypt, the Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit Putraya Line Tunnel and Underground Station works in Malaysia, and the Shantou Bay Tunnel project in China. We see that some of these finalists have also been shown in the video which we have just watched about uh, the most remarkable underground works going on in the world in the past year. For the category between 50 and 500 million euros, 
We have three finalists, two from China, one from France. Large diameter shield tunnel engineering project in karst strata of sea area from China. Bingham tunnel on Chengdu Lajou railway from China. And the south extension of the Metro Line 14 in Paris, GC02 contract from France. The category below 50 million euros. We also have three finalists. First one from Australia. Long term recycled water release plan stage one, Gold Coast Seaway. The second one from Hong Kong, China. Relocation of Shantin Sewage Treatment Works into Caverns. And the third one also from China. Tangjian Donashan Emergency Shelter Project. The next category, Technical Innovation of the Year. We have five finalists. The first one, a cloud-based intelligent system for fully automated real-time design of tunnel support system from China. The second is Nishonos for the shaft and tunnel excavation monitoring system for the DTSS2 project from Singapore. The third one from the health and safety area, the old drive pro service, the compression procedures monitoring from France. The fourth one, we actually uh, lot to three innova innovative method for the construction of sea outfall projects, the rise risers concept from Argentina. And the fifth one, Virtual Master Ring Replacing a Tradition from Germany. In the category Beyond Engineering, we have two finalists, both of them from China. The first one, Issue Tunneling Spoiler Waste, a novel solution says no. The second one, Xuanshan number one tunnel project of Haoshia Dalvu Highway. As I said, both of them from China. In the category, the next innovative and contributing underground spaces, we have two finalists. The first one from China, Fuxin parking lot of Shenzhen Railway Rail Transit Line 14. And the second from Norway, Left All Mine Data Center, the Norwegian solution where scale and flexibility meet resiliency. And finally, for the Young Tunnel Tunnel of the Year. We have six finalists. The first one, Shiranjit Sadka from India. Second, Gianluca Komen from Italy. Third, Keith Bannerman from Australia. The fourth, is Michael Mainz from Canada. The fifth, Nico Hatzboldus from Australia. And the sixth one, Juan Juan Zhang from China. So these are all the finalists. I'm very sure that the judges had, in some cases, difficulty in grading 
uh, and separating uh, grades which would lead to these finalists because some of the some of the entries were very very good level. All of them deserve our recognition, but those are the ones which will go on for the second stage of evaluation. And from this group, the winners will be announced in November at the Tunneling Awards event.